Hey guys, my name is Haley, and today I'm going to be filming a collective book haul of most, I don't know if it's all of them, most of the books that I've gotten since June, so the last six months, which is a long time, but it's actually not a ton, so that's okay. <laughs> Let's get started. First off, I found this at a thrift store, and it has my name on it spelled right, which is just never happens. It's like a Bible handbook. It's not necessarily a Bible, but it's about the books of the Bible. And the guy's name was Dr. Henry H. Haley who compiled it. So that's my name. And it was like a dollar and I needed it. Then I picked up The Eye of the World by... Oh my god, that was embarrassing. <laughs> I picked up The Eye of the World by Robert Jordan, which is the first book in this incredibly long series. But I do hope that I like it because I do really actually want to read this series. I had a friend who read this series in high school and he read like all of them and I've always wanted to read them, but they're so long and there's so many. <laughs> Then I picked up The Reality Dysfunction, The Neutronium Alchemist, and The Naked God all by Peter K. No. Peter F. Hamilton. I don't know anything about this series except that it's like high sci-fi and it's apparently Peter Hamilton is a very popular sci-fi writer. I don't know. I don't read a lot of adult sci-fi but I would like to. So I saw all three of these at the thrift store for like 60 cents each so I just got the whole trilogy. <laughs> Then I picked up The Screw Tape Letters by C.S. Lewis, I believe from Thrift Books, and I've just heard really good things about this. I haven't actually read a C.S. Lewis book yet besides the Narnia books. I'm excited to get into this sometime. Then I picked up House of Leaves by Daniel Z. Danieluski, and this, I've already read it. It was incredible and is probably one of my favorite books of all time, to be completely honest. It's very creepy, it's very, very strange, and it's formatted in a very strange way. I don't know if you can see that, but like, let me find a good one. It's set up with like weird... Some of the words are upside down. It's very strange, but it was so good. So good. Highly recommend. And then on the trip that I went to in July, which was a church trip, I got the 31 day devotional called This Is That from North American Youth Congress, which is where I was. And I haven't actually done this one yet because I'm doing like 50 million devotionals at once. I'm really excited to get into this because it's for apostolics specifically, which I don't know if I've ever actually read a devotional specifically for my religion, but yeah. I took a trip to Half Price Books. This was back in, I don't know, summer. And I picked up The Wind Up Bird Chronicle by Haruki Murakami. Me and Kate are actually planning on buddy reading this soon. She has already read it read it. She's already read it and this is one of her favorites of his books, but I'm really excited to read this. Then I found The Immortal Life of Henrietta Lacks. I don't know if I got this from Half Price Books or a thrift store, but it, I do remember it being relatively cheap and I've heard fantastic things about this, so I was really excited to find it for very cheap. Then at a thrift store that I've never been more excited to see a book there because I've been trying to find this book for cheaper than ten dollars for literally a year. And that is The Handmaid's Tale by Margaret Atwood. I know this is super popular right now because of the Hulu series, and I do actually want to watch that, but I've been hearing fantastic things about this book for years, so I'm very excited. Then I picked up Resisting Happiness by Matthew Kelly. I read another one of his books, I believe it's called Rediscovering Jesus, but I really liked his writing style, so I was excited to see another book of his, and I'm actually reading this one right now. I found Wind Witch by Susan Dennard in the bargain section at Books A Million, and I couldn't resist because I did actually really like the first book, Truth Witch. I'm so sorry if I'm talking really fast or if I'm like red because I'm really hot and I just drank so much coffee, so... Then I picked up the Redefined Bible Study, which... I was doing from September to October, maybe a little bit into November, I don't really remember. It was like an eight week series. <laughs> and this is all tabbed up and everything too and written in. It's a like interactive Bible study that I did with people online with the Well Watered Women community group on Instagram and it was fantastic. Highly recommend. It is directed towards women for the most part, but I think anybody could get stuff out of this. 
My friend Megan was getting rid of books, so I grabbed The Stone Rose, The Scarlet Letter, If I Should Die Before I Wake, On the Fence, which I'm pretty sure Oshina's gonna be really excited about, and the entire Monument 14 trilogy, and I think Oshina might be excited about this one too because I think she just read this whole trilogy. For the most part, I think she actually liked it, so I'm excited. And then the last two books that I have right now are The Serpent King by Jeff Zentner, which was in, once again, the Books a Million bargain section, and Megan read this, and I believe someone else read it recently, maybe it was Jill, but I've heard really, really good things about this, so I saw it for really cheap and had to pick it up. And last but not least, I picked up Blood Song by Anthony Ryan, which I'm pretty positive is Tina's favorite book of this year still and I'm very excited to get into this and it's a UK edition. I've never had a UK edition of something so I was really pumped. <laughs> it's actually in really good condition too and it was like four dollars so I believe I got it off of a books. This is about to be a disaster but these <laughs> are all of the books that I've acquired in the last six months or so, which didn't look like a lot until I was holding them like this. But thank you all for watching and I will see all of you guys next time.